today we continue to build the user interface of your application. Uh, so my application contain uh, many components in the previous lesson and here I define the my app which is by uh, removing the scaffold. Uh, it is not necessary to remove the, the scaffold and replace by the block provider. Uh, block provider has uh, two parts one part for create uh, block object and one part for using object so this is uh, to create a block by using block provider which is uh, with the property of create create is a function and the function here I create a, a block object inside this function so we define a final authentic authentication block and uh, initialize the authentication block here yes and uh, input parameter here is user repository user rep repository is a private property of my app and i define it as final uh, it is for initialize one time for uh, each uh, widgets so I initialize the user repository here and then I input the user repository with underscore underscore being uh, like a private so we paste the user repository here and uh, I add the event the, the first event is the authentication event started to the authentication block yes I initialize the authentication uh, event started and add to the authentication block and return the authentication block so for simplified you can use uh, only one line function in this case so I remove and replace with this one line function authentication block initialize and then add add and return to the initialize uh, to the initialization of authentication block okay and in the builder uh, the builder mean uh, where to use the block where to call the block also the, uh, also the builder property here is also a function with context parameter uh, so context and authentication state and uh, you can use the variable name state but for easier convention you can use authentication state here firstly check that the authentication state is uh, failure is success or is initial so we have three state of authentication state If the authentication, uh, the authentication state is success, I return to home page. Yes, so I display home page here. Otherwise, if else, if the authentication state is uh, state failure, then I return to the login. But the login, uh, in the login, I create the login block. Uh, block so add create function of login block uh, login block ha has uh, input parameter of user repository transmit from the parent which is or from my app which is and the try here so the try here is login page you must initialize login page here so I, I can see that the splash screen is the first screen and in the splash screen I can navigate to login page and login with and navigate to home page. So we have some case depending on the authentication state. If the authentication state is failure with login, otherwise success to home page and in other we navigate to the splash screen. So I define a package name, uh, page, page or screens are the same. Splash page, 
So the part the the, the define a widget name splash page is stand from state list widgets. Okay, so I override the function of build. The build function return the scaffold. Scaffold has body of center, and in the center we have a text. This is a plus splash with the font size is twenty two. Okay. Uh, so right click to page this package and I can add more by copy the same format and create a new page uh, by choosing that file I name it home page okay then I define the class of home page yeah you know, this is home page and the color here is uh, I can choose a color of green. Yes, depending on your purpose of defining your use interface is not important. So click to main and replace the code here by returning to home page. Initialize splash page. In the case of authentication state not success and not failure. So the first is the return home page and the second part is the return login page. So import the library. So right click and that file and name login page. So the hit this is a login screen or login page. The login page is then from stateful which is because in this we, we have a form we have some input uh, uh, some text input so we must define state languages we have uh, two classes one class the I stand from state languages and one class depend I stand from state generic class state a login page we have a constructor blocking page with two parameter key and user repository Key is automatically created uh, with different value for different widgets. So it is a login page and you must require the user repository. You must import meta.dat to allow uh, required annotation. And you must check for user repository must not null. And inherit from the super class or using super and un yes when unenter to import the material dot that to support key yes to support key yes so the login state must implement the build function so we have an email we have a password so we must have two text editing controller email controller and password controller we also have login block and we also have user rep uh, repository by using a getter function is the getter song function here is user repository and get the user re repository from the object of which is we, we also implement the init state function in init state function I initialize a login block by calling here I get the existing login block from the block provider by using block provider dot up yes and when uh, the value of email is changed by the user from the user interface it must add a listener the listener uh, listen to which change on password or on email so in this function, uh, this function is called when password and email is called. The user interface return a scaffold which is the scaffold which is has chai uh, has uh, the body of block provider. Yes, I get the block from here by using block provider. Uh, generic class of login block and login state 
So builder is a function of context and login state. Okay. And here I can check the login state is failure, login state is success or loading. Yes. So I pre now login fail otherwise if it is submitting I pre now login login in and otherwise if it is success then I navigate okay I add event yes I add event so I add the event of uh, authentication login yes it, it, it is here mean that the user has been logged in to the system so the state here is authentication even login state okay so I return to padding and the padding here is uh, which is the padding value up up down left right is 20 pixel and the child the, uh, the padding is a list view so the list view can contain multiple button or multiple text form view here okay so uh, this lesson stop here thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye